aliens enslaving us. Oh, they are on their way. Neil deGrasse Tyson cries out, confirming the most confusing and fearful discovery made by the Voyager in the past decade. A discovery that scientists were in no way prepared for. Ever since the Voyager craft sent back this disturbing data from space, the scientific community has been unable to sleep. Everyone is walking in a tense atmosphere. Researchers, scientists, and engineers have been scrambled from their stations to combat these mysterious objects that Voyager 1 just spotted. We don't know where these strange objects are coming from or where they are headed. But what we do know is that we have seen nothing like them before. What are these mysterious objects that were recently discovered by Voyager 1? Join us today as we dissect these answers with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Voyager 1 has detected 500 unknown objects passing by in space for almost five decades. Now, Voyager 1 has been sailing through the highways of space, exploring the deep realms that ground-based telescopes have been excluded from seeing and uncovering discoveries that leave our mouths wide open in shock. A product of genius minds that flow in abundance at the John Hopkins Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Voyager 1 has been the golden messenger to the uncharted territory of intergalactic space. The engineering marvel that is Voyager has truly opened our eyes to the mind-blowing wonders of our cosmos. In a recent development, Neil deGrasse Tyson confirmed that Voyager has detected 500 unknown objects peacefully gliding in space. This news shocked the scientific community, prompting scientists to pour over the data obtained by Voyager 1. Something strange was brewing on the horizon, and solving this bubbling puzzle had even the best of scientists dumbfounded. Since Neil deGrasse Tyson's confirmation, various interpretations have been flying in the air, attempting to sketch a vivid picture explaining this mystery. Had another spacecraft transmitted such bewildering data, scientists may have doubted its validity. However, this is Voyager we're discussing, the space probe cruising through the steamy paths of space for almost 50 years, exceeding our expectations like a patient who beat cancer. Voyager 1 has surpassed scientists' projected lifespan of three years, spending over 45 years in space, uncovering history-making discoveries. The most intriguing part? Voyager is writing this success story from a staggering distance from Earth, the last known distance had scientists noting the space probe at 14.5 billion miles away, speeding away in space with no indication of slowing down. Researchers note Voyager's speed at 3.6 times the distance between Earth and the Sun per year. This fact is a bit hard to swallow, as one might expect the space probe's speed to decline greatly given its journey's longevity. Yet, Voyager 1 continues to defy this narrative, showcasing its exceptional nature once more with its latest findings. Indeed, Voyager 1's discovery of 500 unknown objects was a shocking twist in the routine of scientists. This unexpected revelation left astronomers scratching their heads, trying to make sense of the data transmitted by the spacecraft. The sudden appearance of these mysterious objects sparked a flurry of activity among researchers, who were determined to uncover the truth behind this puzzling phenomenon. Initially, some scientists speculated that Voyager 1's age might be to blame for the anomaly. After all, the spacecraft had been exploring space since 1977, and it was not unreasonable to assume that its aging systems could be prone to errors. However, this explanation was quickly dismissed by experts who highlighted Voyager 1's remarkable track record of reliability and resilience. Despite its decades-long journey through the cosmos, Voyager 1 continued to operate smoothly thanks to its redundant computer systems. Equipped with dual sets of command subsystems, flight data systems, FDS, and altitude and articulation control systems, ACCS, the spacecraft was able to seamlessly switch between systems and activate backup components as needed. This redundancy played a crucial role in preserving Voyager 1's functionality and ensuring its continued success in exploring the depths of space. Therefore, while the discovery of the unknown objects initially caused confusion and concern among scientists, Voyager 1 ultimately proved to be an invaluable asset in unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Its resilience and reliability stood as a testament to the ingenuity and dedication of the team behind the mission inspiring awe and admiration among all who followed its extraordinary journey.
When designing the Voyager 1, the engineers back on Earth came up with a plan to help the space probe maximize efficiency. This required that the probe's instruments would have to rely on hardwired logic. They were taking no chances when it came to this area since they were handicapped due to time constraints and limitations in power budgets. The electrical engineers decided the instruments would have to be developed using simplified systems that depended on hardwired logic. Thus, Voyager's computer systems comprised six onboard computers organized as a distributed system with three dual redundant pairs. Having overcome this hurdle, scientists had to face the next tall brick wall in their way, which was maintaining the systems. This intimidating height was surmounted by coming up with an ongoing power management plan. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. Power management entailed sustaining the operational capabilities of Voyager's computer systems. And if we're being honest, this is an arduous task to deal with given the limited power resources available on board the space probe. It was a case of sending a hunter into the deep jungle to hunt for wild animals with only a set of knives. Nevertheless, scientists found a way around this problem by devising several measures to conserve and optimize power usage aboard the Voyager. A good example of these power management measures that engineers came up with is the selective powering down of non-essential systems. Engineers were forced into making this hard decision. Hence, they employed a systemic approach to identify and deactivate components or subsystems that were not crucial for the spacecraft's primary mission objectives. We see evidence of this when we take a quick look at heaters associated with certain instruments that had to be switched off. These heaters were originally designed to maintain the instruments at specific temperatures, so they were operated or performed at optimum. However, the story had to be rewritten by activating because it greatly reduced power consumption on board the Voyager. This reduction in the spacecraft's power usage comes with a ripple effect, an extension of the Voyager's lifespan. It's a win-win situation for everybody. Here's how the communication between both parties plays out. Whenever the mission control team at NASA's Deep Space Network sends a command to the Voyager, it travels as a radio signal at the speed of light. The Deep Space Network, DSN, is an extensive network of massive radio antennas strategically positioned across the globe that makes it possible for NASA to maintain communication with spacecraft exploring the far reaches of our solar system, and beyond. The primary objective of this network is to facilitate two-way communication between the Earth and deep space missions, alongside conducting radar and radio astronomy observations to widen our understanding of the universe. Whenever the deep space network is transmitting data from the Voyager to the Earth, it often uses its channel 18 and usually makes use of frequencies 2.3 gigahertz. When we take a second look at this, we discover that when sending signals from the Earth to Voyager 1, a frequency of 2.1 gigahertz is used, and it occurs at the speed of light. As much as this traveling at the speed of light seems exciting, let's not forget the enormous distance separating both the probe and the Earth. Therefore, even at this supersonic speed, it takes the signal approximately 22 hours to reach the spacecraft. What this means is that after a command is transmitted, the mission control team has no choice but to wait for 22 hours before receiving any confirmation or response from the Voyager craft. This time delay explains why the mission team is very meticulous when it comes to the commands that they send to the Voyager. They are careful not to make any errors because it would increase their waiting time. At the end of the day, they often spend hours reviewing commands and going over plans before they send them and initiate them to avoid issues and unnecessary delays. Time delays would prolong the period required to perform a diagnosis of anomalies such as the one recently discovered by Voyager 1. Although the popular hypothesis is that the telemetry data sent to the Earth was likely caused by the ACCS receiving a faulty command from an onboard computer, researchers are far from satisfied. They believe that there is something still missing to complete this puzzle. Some researchers are still unsure of the exact cause of this anomaly, as there exist other possibilities such as cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroid impacts. The universe's environment can be a very harsh adversary, even for sophisticated spacecraft like Voyager 1. 
Moreover, since the Voyager craft is waxing old, it may have been a victim of the adverse and unforgiving space environment. All we can do for now is to keep our eyes glued on every one of these possibilities, because scientists may eventually find out which one of them is the guilty party. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.